we present a method for rigging and animating character meshes from captured point clouds. Given an input 3D character mesh and the single view point cloud sequence capturing a performing character with articulated parts, our method infers a skeletal rig and skinning for the target mesh such that it can be animated according to the motion of the captured character. Our method is not constrained to any particular category or skeletal template. Here is an example of a goat target mesh and the point cloud sequence of another moving quadruped. Our method rigs and animates the goat. It is robust occlusions and mismatches in part proportions between the captured and target character. Let's take a brief look at our methods pipeline. The pipeline consists of several stages. First, we have a neural correspondence module that takes as input the target mesh and the point cloud from each single frame and outputs partial correspondences captured in a matrix of point vertex matching scores. The correspondences drive a neural deformation module that computes per vertex flow and deforms the input mesh to closely align it with the point cloud of the frame while being robust to occlusions and missing data. Correspondences and deformations are applied iteratively to create a sequence of deformed masses. The vertex trajectories from the deformed sequence are converted to motion aware features by transformer encoder. The features are highly informative of articulated parts revealed by the motion of the point cloud. These features drive a rigging module that creates bones matching these underlying articulated parts. The output rig is then used to produce an improved mesh deformation sequence, which is consistent with both the inferred skeleton and the point cloud sequence. Next, we saw some of our results. First, on synthetic point cloud sequences. Here we rig and animate the character of this alien from a humanoid point cloud sequence. This is a comparison with a previous method called RigNet. RigNet produces a skeleton but ignores motion cues. As a result, it produces implausible animations due to missing joints, such as the hips here. Here is another example of a rigged and animated toy character. We produce a much plausible skeleton and animation while Rignet creates several unnecessary joints in the head. This is one more example of a rigged and animated character bar method. Here is an animation of the same character from a different sequence. Additional results are shown here for various characters. Now we saw our results with real world scanned point clouds. This is the resulting ringing and animation for a character driven by the motion of another humanoid from the Faust dataset. Note the different part proportions between the source and target character. Our method still discovers plausible bones. Here is another example. As discussed previously, our method can rig and animate diverse characters with varying articulation structures, such as the toy duck here, or this toy dog here. Thank you for watching.